This webcast is being filmed at the Mount Carmel Spirituality Center in beautiful Niagara Falls. Whereas primate, I'm delighted every year, twice a year, to gather all of the bishops of the Canadian Church, diocesan suffragan bishops, the National Indigenous Anglican Bishop, and the Bishop Ordinary to the Canadian Forces. Your bishop is here, and we're delighted that he or she has a place in the life and work of this house. We call ourselves the House of Bishops, and my hope is that through this webcast you will get a glimpse of its nature and work. To say it's a house is to imply that we come together as a family, and secondly, as a community. As a family, we refer to one another, obviously, as brothers and sisters in Christ. And as a community, we refer to one another as colleagues in Episcopal ministry. That is the ministry to which we've been elected, ordained, and installed on your behalf for the life and work of the Anglican Church of Canada. Our time together in the House of Bishops is shaped by worship every day. We celebrate the Eucharist. We have morning prayer with Bible study. This week we're looking at the I Am sayings in John's Gospel, which are a beautiful set of uh, declarations which speak of our life together uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, just before supper, we always say evening prayer, and then after our evening session, we conclude with night prayer. Most of our time together in the house uh, is spent in taking counsel together over matters of concern uh, to the church in Canada, around the world, and to the church ecumenical. In Canada, uh, we have a number of items on the agenda for this particular meeting, of course, including the residential schools and the, the next chapter in our church is coming to terms with our legacy of involvement in the residential schools. We'll be hearing about the federal government's Truth and Reconciliation Commission, which is to be appointed. We'll be taking some time to think about theological education, for which bishops have some significant responsibility, some time to think about ACPO, which is the church's screening process for selecting candidates to train for ordained ministry. We'll also be taking some time to uh, get ourselves all revved up for the 50th anniversary celebrations for the Primates World Relief and Development Fund, that celebration taking place next year. Internationally, we're taking time in this particular meeting of the hosts uh, to look at issues of concern to our Anglican communion. As you know, we're living through a time of uh, tension, and so one of the ways forward uh, is a proposal that there be a covenant uh, among the provinces of the Anglican Communion. And so we've been taking some time to, to look at that covenant and make a Canadian response to what is a second draft. Ecumenically, uh, we always have a few items on our, on our agenda uh, which have to do with uh, our relationships with other churches and the, the the state of our conversations as we move forward together toward unity in Christ. We have a, a relationship, as you know, of full communion with the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada, and it's always our delight to have at our fall meeting the presence of all of the Lutheran bishops uh, in Canada, and we welcome them warmly. As you can appreciate, the, um, the House of Bishops is a microcosm of the Anglican Church of Canada. And that means that uh, we have a diversity of theological perspective present at every meeting of the House. That demands of us that we, uh, we work hard at speaking respectfully to one another, at listening to one another with intention, and at building good, strong collegial relations. We're called, I believe, to model for the whole church a way of living and working together with difference and to do that with, with grace. 
part of our time together, of course, is, is uh, work time, and part of our time together is to experience fellowship one with another. And it's very often during those times of fellowship that bishops experience the kind of mutual support and encouragement that we all need uh, in our ministries. As I said earlier, your bishop is here, a valued member of this house, and I ask you to um, pray for him or her, not only as they come to the host, but as they return home to the diocese and bring back reports to the diocese of the, the work of uh, the meeting of the host. Along with 800 other bishops, your bishop will be going to the Lambeth Conference this summer in Canterbury, England. This is a gathering of bishops that take place, takes place every 10 years at the invitation of the Archbishop of Canterbury. And uh, this year's conference is going to be one that will be shaped by uh, the five marks of mission of the Anglican Communion and the, the important role of bishops uh, as leaders in mission. So I ask you to, to uphold the, that conference in your prayers as well. Pray with me that your bishop and all bishops may indeed continue to provide strong pastoral and prophetic leadership for our church, and that with you we may all be found faithful in our calling in Christ Jesus. Thank you.